Hi, I'm Annie. I'm a Catholic convert. My husband and I came into the church together, and NFP was something that was not enticing to me about the church. I loved so many other things about the church, and NFP was something that was like, okay, I have to do it <laughs> to, be, <laughs> to become Catholic. I have seen that NFP really flexes like three muscles or virtues that you need in in areas of your life, especially in your marriage, that are non-sexual. So like the first being, you know, abstinence. Um, There are always going to be times of abstinence in your life, whether or not you're avoiding a pregnancy or not. Like you cannot, the world likes to make it seem like you can have sex anytime you want, but you really cannot. You know, you, you might be at work, you might have kids, like you will always have to have abstinence for certain periods which is something we need, you know, with food, we need temperance with food, temperance with our work, um, abstinence from our phone. So abstinence is a skill that benefits us when we when we grow strong and firm in that virtue. Another thing that NFP can really strengthen that, that muscle, that virtue, is intentionality. So in the seasons of life where my husband and I have been avoiding, we have three children, we you know, especially after our third child. It was like boom, 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 um, like about two years between each of them. And I was like, we need a break. <laughs> we need like a longer break, more than two years now. And we were really, really conscious of, okay, we need to chart very well and we need some time for health reasons and life, blah, blah, blah. So we went to our um, NAPRO doctor and he said, our, our Catholic NAPRO doctor, and he was like, only post peak. You can only use post peak days until you're like, if, if you're really wanting to avoid it. Eventually, we were able to use some days in the beginning of my cycle as well. But for a, a long time, we were had a much more of a limited time where we were able to come together, and so we had to be really intentional about that time. And women are so often right your hormones that is like when you least want to have sex is right is after you ovulate when you're done ovulating your body's ready to rest (laughs) but that's the one time if you're avoiding pregnancy that you can come together so you have to be super intentional about getting into the mood and especially for women making time in your head preparing yourself for that night i know for me i've had to ask my husband to do things, you know, very specifically to clean the house or helping with the kids so that I can have time to rest. I've had to make sure that's that I'm taking time to maybe work out that day. Um, that really helps to get just like blood flow and feel healthy and strong. Being intentional is something you need in, in your whole marriage anyway, you know. Like I said, we have three kids. We have to be really intentional when we want to go out for a date night or a date afternoon taking time to talk to each other at the end of the night and not just watching a show. You know, intentionality is something you need in your life anyway. So NFP like forces you to be intentional, but then you've worked on that muscle, worked on that skill, and it translates to other areas of your life because you have that virtue. Abstinence, intentionality, and lastly, I want to talk about letting God be in control. So like I said, we have three kids that all were about two years apart. We also had a miscarriage in there. So all of those, we got pregnant, like, right away. So I say, like, four out of four. (laughs) And then it came time, my husband and I decided that we were ready to have another baby. So we're very excited and a little more apprehensive. Adding, having four kids seemed like a bigger deal. And, but we were like, I'm ready. And I didn't get pregnant. (laughs) I didn't pregnant month after month and I was like wow okay this is just this is just totally new you never know what's gonna happen um it took five months I I am pregnant now which is which is wonderful blessing and but like you absolutely never know you know like I said I've had a miscarriage and then we had five months it's not even that long and it was fine but you you just you never know how it's gonna work out and when we decided we want to have another baby we decided we really needed to buy a house with a little bit more space and God opened up because of that God opened up just a whole huge 
new avenue of blessings for us. And because of one more baby, that meant we had to get a van. We were just crammed into a little five-seater. And having a van has opened up our whole new life with carpooling, with kids to get our daughter to and from school, with neighbors. And it's it's just being open to life, being open to this one more baby has opened up these huge new blessings that I never could have imagined, never could have anticipated. And, you know, life is not still perfect. You know, my husband is still on a career path and we don't know exactly what's going to happen. And he's kind of doing job to job right now. And everything, you know, God's providing and my husband's providing, but, you know, nothing is set. Your life is never going to be set. You're always going to have unexpected things and tragedy. And being open to life, being um, open to NFP and, and what that brings helps you to just be in the mindset of, you know, I need to let God be in control. So like I said, I've had unexpected miscarriage, unexpected not being able to get pregnant. And and who knows what will happen now? You know, I am early on this baby, I could miscarry as well. And you know what, a child could die. There, There will always be things in life that are out of your control. And so just practicing that every month with NFP strengthens that muscle. So you just do tend to trust God a little bit more easily. All right, bye.